much the same. Get after there, dictate the pace, get to my ties, control, control ties. Looking to score constantly. I knew he had some big moves. He was having a hell of a tournament, so I had to make sure I was watching that. And uh, keyed in on my position and dominated the tie. Going down a little bit too, I think, so everything worked out exactly kind of how I was hoping it was. So. Talk about tonight, you know, what you're expecting, uh, you know, wrestling for the best three, wrestling for that spot, and uh, what it's going to be like for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. First time in the Charles Finals. Um, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm jacked. I came here to win this thing. That's what I want to do. I we didn't qualify the weight in Texas. Uh, kind of sucked, but at the same time, it's like, all right, now it's, now it's in my hands. So I wouldn't have any other way. So. You've been in the trials finals a couple of times yeah. now and you've fallen short. So what, what have you learned that you can put into tonight? Uh, I've learned that it's just, it's just like any other match. I'm going to go out there and uh, wrestle the way I wrestle and get it done. It's just, it's just another match. Okay? Always preparing for, for the next one. I think matches all uh, build off each other. So they're always good practice for the next one. So I'll go out there, continue to improve. And uh, hopefully come away with it and get myself all set for my boy. How was your training going coming into trials? How are you feeling about your chances here? It was great. Um, we had an awesome uh, training cycle with uh, Dan Chandler, Brandon Paulson, and, uh, and Mike Halk. And we're really scientific about it. Mark really good short goes and high intensity. And I feel I feel really, really ready to go. I had a lot of great training partners. Brian Graham, Devin Scott are both here with me. Julian Gunnels, just shy of qualifying as well. And then I've got a lot of great partners above and below me as well. Justin LaValle, um, Jake Fisher, been an unbelievable veteran to have in the room. Um, so Alec Ortiz as well. We have a really great room in Minnesota. Some really good things happen in there. So. How much does that help to have that storm club revitalized where you guys have a lot of top-notch guys wrestling in Minnesota at the training center now? It's, it's great because you know, in 2012, it was just me and CP wrestling each other every day. And uh, I mean, that was great for me, wrestling with CP. So you beat the crap out of me like every day, but, <laughs> um, you know, it gets old. It's good to have different looks. And Jordan Holmes done a great job bringing guys in. And uh, we have a really good, good environment, so.